Drinking films with the hitman Tony Deucey Williams of the Range Vikings. Hey, hey Deucey, man, y'all just completed y'all spring game real quick. Give me your thoughts on that. Oh, um, today was a good spring game. You know, um, as me just coming in as a transfer guy, coming in making plays, getting the energy, setting the tone. It's all good. Talk, Everything been great. Talk about your performance in today's game, Deucey. You was flying around out there, smacking people, laying the wood. Just, just, just give me your thoughts on your performance. Um, I feel like my performance was great. Um, you know, feeding off my teammates, my teammates feeding off me. You know, it's a brotherhood here, so, you know, you got to put on for, for the city. Give me your thoughts on the way the overall defense played today. Oh, defense, we flew around, made a lot of plays. I, I, I mean, at practice, that, I mean, that's what we do. Our coach always implement 11 hats to the ball. You know, we got safeties catching picks, Eddie Hinton. Um, we got defense linemen making plays, making it easier for the linebackers. Yes, sir. Talk about that D-line a little bit more. Jayon Simon, King Massey, they was down, they was out there balling today, man. Give me your thoughts on the way that D-line played a little bit more. Oh, that D-line is great. I love my front four, honestly. Like, they make it easier, like I said, for the linebackers and the DBs, to, for the quarterbacks to rush passes, and for the um, the for the linemen not to climb up to us linebackers, so. You briefly mentioned the DBs real quick. Give me your uh, thoughts on the way they played a little bit more. Oh, our DB core did very good attacking the ball inside the air. We still got a lot more to work on as a team overall, and even with the coverages, getting the calls, and getting a little miscommunication, but we'll be good during the season to get to it this summer. You led the linebacking group. Give me your thoughts on the way that, that group played overall today. On um, that group, you know, I had to set the tone for them, but that group there, we have a lot of young guys, a lot of guys around my age and around my size, so we all like to play together, fast, physical, a linebacker coach, he, he preached that all the time. Is there a young guy that uh, surprised you that stepped up and made some plays today on defense? Um, uh, yeah, like I said, the safety Eddie hits it on. Um, you know, he caught two picks. I mean, I, I mean, I was really, I was, I wouldn't say I'm surprised because he does his practice, but he, he had an excellent game. He set, a, he set a, the tone too for the DBs. Yes, sir. You open up um, today's action with a very big hit. Um, real, real quick, talk about that hit, man. What and what was going through your mind when you laid the wood on that guy? Um, so like, I was always taught like whenever the lineman block down, shoot that gap as fast as you can. So I seen the gap was open, so I hit it, and what uh, went, 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 went from there went from there. Yes, sir. Did you have to do him like that though? <laughs> um, I, I really wanted to hold up, but like, coach, coach said it was live inside locker room. He said he wanted to see who gonna set the tone, who gonna lay down. So we gonna really see. He said he said we gonna play like this is no, like there's no tomorrow. So. Yes, sir. How good can this uh, defense really be once the fall get here, Tony? Oh, I think this defense can, like, take us as far as we want to go, honestly. And the offense going to, is going to continue to feed off the defense. Give me your thoughts on the way the offense played today. Oh, the offense had an excellent game. You know, you got TJ rolling out, making excellent passes. Our backup quarterback, Malik. You know, them two guys right there, whenever I go to offense, I always look for them, too. The O-line had an excellent well, you know, they still got a lot to work on, but O-line, I, I love them boys. Um, my cousin, Adrian Walker, he had a excellent catches and a few great plays, and yeah. Adrian, uh, wide receiver, Adrian Walker, Zion Butler, two great wide receivers right there. Give me thoughts on the way they played a little bit more in today's contest, Tony. On um, them two, them guys, like, you got to get hands on them guys. Them guys going to run around free. <laughs> and, yeah, and, you know, we got we got the tight end, Rafa. Um, Andreas Cox, you know, he's my cousin too. He make a lot of big plays and block. He, you know, you know, guys on the trenches don't really get that much credit for blocking and all of that. So, you know, he's a great play, a great asset to the team. Talk about those guys in the trenches a little bit more. I know y'all was giving them work today. Y'all been giving them work all spring, Tony, uh, from the defense perspective. But talk about the offensive line a little bit more. How you like that group? Oh, I love that group. Times when I go to running back in practice, you know, you know, you know, we be. I ain't gonna really say too much, but we be kind of giving defense work. It's a, always competitive. It's very competitive. Like it's very competitive. And them guys, you know, we had Solomon out. You know, that's a big, that's a big. We had a young, couple young guys stepping, but our young guys are filling the roles pretty great. great. Just give me your final thoughts on, on on the spring action. On spring has been excellent. We've been working, 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 putting pieces together. We got a lot of new guys that just checked in, learning everything. They did great learning it. They picked up very excellent. They learned it. They got it done. Yes, sir. As I mentioned, you balled out in today's game. Thanks for talking with me, and good luck to your future. Yes, sir. Appreciate you.